everyone, Miss Sar here, and we're back with Raiders Thrive. Uh, you'll notice that Mr. Asiyama is here, and I am thrilled, or Mr. A and I are thrilled to introduce you to Crystal, our new CYC. Um, being the inaugural epi episode for the 2020-2021 year uh, in these unusual circumstances, uh, we just thought our first episode would be us talking a bit about ourselves because many of you may have forgotten who we are. The grade nines don't know who we are and the whole school is now meeting Crystal. So uh, I thought we'd go around my lovely friends and talk about why we chose social work or CYC or chaplaincy. And I'm thinking, uh, you know, share something personal about yourself that you can share and why we love working in a high school. I think that's okay. Sure. So who would like to go first? I'll go for first. Sure. I'll, okay. I'll, write. I'll go first. Okay. All right, Crystal, go um, first. So my name's Crystal De Silva. I'm the child and youth counselor um, at STA this year. Um, I know there's been some transition with STA, uh, sorry, CYCs at this school in the past um, year or so. So I was told I'm gonna be here for a while. So let's keep our fingers crossed about that. Um, you may see half of my face um, walking around because you don't get to see the bottom half. Um, so if you do say hi, um, if you tell me your name and then I forgot your name, I have to apologize because now I have like 1700 names to learn. Um, I've been with the board for six years and um, I've done three elementary schools and this is my second high school. Um, I prefer high school because I would rather work with the teenagers um, and some of the more um, adult problems, if you will, as opposed to um, in an elementary school where we have a lot of issues with making friends. And so I wanted to kind of steer away from that. Um, in my um, experience as a child and youth counselor, I, um, I've been doing it for over 20 years and most of my experience is with teenagers. So when an opportunity came up to be in a high school, I jumped all over it. Um, so I'm really excited to be here. Um, I have two children, uh, one of them is 12 and one of them is eight and um, they keep me very busy. And I also have a dog and he's 13 and his name is Max. And so right. why, Did I miss uh, if, anything? If I could just follow. Uh, so why CYC in the first place? Oh, um, I, I don't really remember the exact like moment in my life where I was like, I wanna be a CYC. I feel like um, I always knew that I wanted to help people um, and in particular kids and, and youth, um, at risk youth, if you will. Um, so I didn't know how I was going to do that. Uh, I just know that, you know, when I started, um, you know, programs at the college that I went to, um, I came across like group home kids and I came across homelessness. And, and so uh, that was the target area that I wanted to be in. And so um, I just kind of like, organically found my path um and now that i'm in the high school like i know this is where i was supposed to be i love high school thank yeah. you crystal no problem oh and well you talked about loving teenagers and i and do teenagers. i do i used to be one <laughs> really so I, was. Were we. I was i used to be one <laughs> mr a hello everybody S hello F sta i'm so happy to be here with you guys for what, my fourth year here at the high school. I am Mr. Siama. I am the family of school social workers. So some of you guys might probably remember me from your elementary schools and now you're in high school. Welcome to STA. Um, we're super happy to have you join our community here. So I'm the school social worker and really my role is all about working with students, working with families and being able to kind of support you with anything that is impeding your ability to function and do your best while you are in the school environment. Um, and sometimes it's, you know, making friends, sometimes it's academic, sometimes it's attendance, sometimes it's family issues, sometimes it's, you know, your own kind of personal issues that you're dealing with, or just sometimes just, you know, having a person to connect with just to talk. Uh, my role here is very flexible and I'm part of, and I work with all the different teams here in the school. So uh, my role is one to, that is here literally to be your advocate 
Um, so I'm super excited. And that's what really fires me up, you know, my ability to work with um, young um, kids and specifically youth and be able to kind of, you know, help guide, and support them as they kind of develop their own identity is the best thing. Because when I was young, to be honest, I wish I, I knew myself in high school because I was I struggled a bit in high school. Sometimes, you know, a little bit of behavior stuff, making bad decisions and bad friends. Um, so I always find that when you have the right support that you can connect with, you could do your absolute best. So that's me. I'm very vulnerable. I like to talk about myself and what I've been through and use my experiences to help other people. Um, but really, that's just um, I'm here for you guys. And I'm super excited to kind of be back in the building. I also coached the school basketball team two years ago. I, I wish to have done this again this year. But, you know, due to unfortunate, unfortunate circumstances, yeah. we can do so. Well, thank you. And I'm Miss R. I'm the chaplain. I become like the church lady. I get stereotyped. I guess if anyone gets stereotyped in this school, it's uh, the chaplain. Um, you know, because people will think, oh, we can't say that because that's, you know, I, I can't go to her because I don't really go to church. I don't judge. Um, chaplaincy, I like the way Crystal said it. Uh, chaplaincy kind of found me. I didn't really go after chaplaincy. Uh, there were things that happened in my life that steered me away from where I was going to go. I was going to be a lawyer. I know, shocking. Um, uh, I thought I was going to make lots of money and drive a right. You're doing uh, God's work. You're doing uh, God's work. I'm doing God's work now. Although there are lawyers who would say they're doing God's work, depending <laughs> what law they go into. Um, so it found me and it involved, you know, like the death of my father. Um, I had some powerful prayer experiences along the way. And here I am. And to be honest, I thought I was only going to be a chaplain for five or six years. I'd go to get my B. Ed and be a teacher. Well, after 18 years with the board as a chaplain, I don't think being a teacher in that sense is in uh, the cards for me. I think I love what I'm doing. I think I'm where I'm meant to be. And I love teenagers. So when I was searching in my own life as to, you know, I finished my undergrad, I wasn't going into law. Uh, I knew that by the time I graduated. And I thought, what do I need to do? And it wasn't until I got involved in my parish with the youth there that it felt like that aha moment like oh it was like i was a puzzle piece and it just fit being with teenagers your energy i just i love you guys and i love your energy and the questions and the angst and and the struggling because it's and no offense to the teachers it's not lesson plans i remember when i look back at high school it's the teachers who impacted me on an emotional friendship level so that's mm -hmm. what i'm hoping I share with you, and I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that Crystal and Mr. A, we all have that same goal. So we're going to be doing these videos weekly. We're going to be looking at issues or questions that you guys have that you've asked over the years. And what I like about this is we're holistic. We're not competing. We're all working together. We're three people who are in your corner and we're cheering for you. And if you need us to be your, you know, to give you a pep talk or your cheerleader or you need practical stuff, Mr. A can work with you and your family if it comes to that. Crystal is more the mental health piece, which I know some, but I've learned so much from CYCs I've worked with over the years and with the social workers. And I'm the spiritual stuff because sometimes, whether we want to admit it or not, we wonder, did God make a mistake with me? And I'm here to tell you. No, God doesn't make mistakes. And so when we realize that, um, whether we go to church or not, whether we pray regularly or not, knowing that God still loves you can give a lot of people like, oh, and it can hit us right in our very core of our souls. So that's why I like it's a, the team approach. So that's um, what we're about. So I think today's episode is going to be relatively short. We just wanted to do a nice little intro. And to say, you know, stay tuned, uh, subscribe to the channel so you get the Raiders Thrive uh, videos. Subscribe. And you can also, at the bottom, I'll put our email addresses, the my.aquinas.me email accounts. So if you need to reach out to any one of us, you can. Any final uh, thoughts? Because I know a lot of people are, uh, we may be coming to the school, we may be used to the online, but I think it's weird for a lot of people. Any final thoughts to sort of encourage people at the uh, you know the second weekend now that we've come across 
Uh, any thoughts? Remaining, remain encouraged. It's one day at a time. Mm -hmm. And we're all in this together. Oh my gosh, I was totally thinking that. I was going to say that. You read my mind. Yeah. Uh, may, may I just add a little uh, <laughs> side note to that? We are in this together, but we're not experiencing it the same. 100%. I've, I've heard the great metaphor of we're all in a stormy sea, but some of us are in rickety little boats and some of us are in cruise liner ships. But we're all in the same storm, but some of us don't have the same resources or, or support to help get us through. And that's where the three of us come in. We're, we're, we're to help with your, whether you're on a raft or a nice yacht, but we're here to help you because mentally we're all just trying to make the best of everything. All right, so I guess that concludes. I mean, unless there's anything else we want to say. No, nope. oh, that's perfect for me. Me okay. too. So we're here and we look forward to doing these, these regularly. Please watch us, subscribe uh, and email us if you need it. All right. Uh, thank you for uh, being here, uh, Crystal and Mr. A, and we'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye, everyone.